All right, I'm Chafee County Sheriff John Speezy. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to read you a prepared statement, and then we'll, we'll introduce our district attorney and take questions after. Good afternoon. I wanted to thank you for traveling to Chafee County on such short notice for today's briefing. Before we begin, I just wanted to speak briefly about Suzanne. I have to admit, I did not know Suzanne personally before the beginning of the investigation, but now I feel I've gotten to know Suzanne quite well. I have learned that Suzanne loved her two daughters, Mallory and Macy, deeply, and there was nothing she wouldn't do for them. I've also learned that Suzanne had a passion for life and lived it to its fullest. I've also learned that Suzanne was very easy to like and was cherished by her closest friends. I believe like people like Suzanne are a rare find, and those who knew her were indeed very lucky. Today make, marks a major milestone in this investigation of Suzanne Morphy's disappearance. We're announcing that at 0915 hours this morning, the Chaffee County Sheriff's Office arrested Suzanne Morphy's husband, Barry Morphew. He was taken into custody near his home in Poncha Springs. He was alone at the time of his arrest, and he was arrested without incident. Today marks the culmination of thousands of hours in this comprehensive investigative effort to locate the mother of two who went missing May 10th of 2020. More than 70 investigators from the Chaffee County Sheriff's Office, the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and dozens of other local law enforcement agencies have provided their expertise on this case. We've executed more than 135 search warrants across Colorado. We've interviewed more than 400 individuals in multiple states. Our team has also investigated more than 1,400 tips generated from within and outside of law enforcement. In early April, the extensive work completed by our investigative team was presented to the 11th Judicial District Attorney's Office. In that multiple hour presentation, we allow, outlined all of the information and evidence we have taken in over the past 12 months. Following that meeting, the District Attorney's Office reviewed our case and information and solidified their decision to move forward on this case. Today is not the day for celebration, nor does it mark the end of this investigation. Rather, it's the next step in this very difficult yet very important journey as we seek justice for Suzanne and her family. I know how deeply this case has impacted our community over the past 12 months. Through multiple conversations I've had with our citizens across the county, one message was clear from everyone, and that's that they wanted answers and they wanted justice for Suzanne. Although I'm not able to offer specific details, I want to assure the community that every action our investigators took in the past year led to today's arrest. This arrest would not be possible without the assistance of our supporting law enforcement agencies, which include the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and of course the 11th Judicial District Attorney, Linda Stanley, and members of her office. Before District Attorney Linda Stanley speaks, I want to extend my deep appreciation to our community for their support they've shown us for over the past year. While this has been a trying time for our citizens, I've seen our community rally around one another and our investigative team. I'd now like to introduce District Attorney Linda Stanley. My name is Linda Stanley. I'm the district attorney for the 11th Judicial District, which includes Fremont County, Custer, and Chaffee County, counties total. Um, I wanted to say that thanks for being here for everybody, and there's a couple of things I'd like to address um, about this case. First, the investigation is still ongoing. Uh, Suzanne, her body has not been found, and we're still looking into that. The investigation is ongoing. Second, Barry Morphew is presumed innocent until proven guilty. That's important to remember. Third, the arrest affidavit is sealed at this time. I cannot and will not discuss it. Fourth, all media inquiries from this date forward should go through my office. However, I'm sure you all are aware and know that we cannot talk about any open or active investigation, and that is per the rules of professional conduct that we will abide by. Lastly, I wanted to say that 
today is a good day. It's a good day for all of the men and women in law enforcement that have tirelessly worked toward getting here. They worked day in and day out, sacrificing more than any of you will ever know. They even continued working and continued their sacrifices as they were being raked over the coals and second guessed as to their skills and abilities. I'm standing here in front of you on this good day because they never quit. Sheriff Speezy and his deputies at the Chaffee County Sheriff's Office, Alex Walker, investigator for the 11th Judicial District, those two individuals and in Sheriff Speezy's office in particular are consummate professionals and quite frankly, some of the best I've ever worked with in my entire professional career. They followed every lead, every tip, and every unanswered question, no matter what direction it led them in. They never compromised the integrity of the investigation. On several occasions over the last few months after I was sworn in on January 12th of this year, I met with these professionals and went through hours and hours of their meticulous investigation. Their investigation was presented to our office just a few weeks ago. For me, today is a good day, but for my office, this is where the work begins. There's more work to be done. However, this is an important and incredibly crucial step. And today is a good day for Suzanne. As far as I'm concerned, today is all about Suzanne. And it's about her family. And it's about all the individuals that knew her and loved her and cared about her. That's what this day is about. And it's a good day. Thank you. All right, we'll go ahead and take some questions now. Can you tell, can you tell us? Right down the way. Thank you. Um, can I please, uh, the district attorney, if you don't mind, you're not releasing the affidavit. You don't have a body. How can you prove to the members of the public that you have a strong case? For those that didn't hear the question, he said, we're not releasing the affidavit and we don't have a body, so how can I convince the public that we have a strong case? That's my job. I'm the one that considers how strong my case is before I bring charges, and I wouldn't bring charges unless I was confident. Oh, Suzanne has been missing for nearly a year now. What made you take this step today as opposed to any time in the past year? Who's that directed to? Either one. Would you repeat the question, please? Kinda. Yeah. If I can have you stand in front of the microphone, just make sure yeah. you pick it up. Suzanne has been missing for nearly a year. What made you take this step today as opposed to any time in the past year? It's been a culmination of our investigation over the past year. Honestly, it's it kind of oversimplifies today is, is just any other day. Uh, it's been our investigation over the past year that got us where we are today. And based on other information we gathered, we acted on it. I mean, today became the day. But it's been a culmination of everything we've gained over the past year. And I know for everybody here, you say, well, that's hard to understand that because we haven't said so much about the investigation. That's what's so important about this investigation that got us here today is the, the amount of, of everything that's gone into this and what's brought us here and the ability to, to remain silent and do the very best we can to put the best case forward. All of that led us to where we are today. The question is, is if we, uh, if if we'd been searching for her and we hadn't found her, and if there's any any indication that she wasn't alive today, is that correct? Well, we believe that she's not alive. We filed first degree murder charges, or we're in the process of filing first degree murder charges. So our belief is that Suzanne is still is not alive at this time. You know, that, that's actually a really good question. I'm sorry. It's a good question in that it's not 
the, the light bulb moment doesn't happen overnight. It's when you begin an investigation, you start collecting information, you gain more information, and as you go along, you, you, con you continually assess what you're doing, and, and as time goes by, you start eliminating certain things and start bringing in other things, and as you progress, you go from one point to another and you make realizations, and so your, your investigation is always, it, it never ends till it's over, if that makes sense, and, uh, and you're constantly learning things, and so you go from, from what you believe here to what, to what we present now, and so it's a process, and it's been a long process, it's been a very tedious process. Was there a date? Jan, that you're Jan, right? Yeah. That was in the, the early press release we put out. Did, did it not have the charge? I don't, I don't think it came okay. out in the original. Okay. So, Jan, could you read all the charges? I don't have them with me. Do you, do you have them? Um, Where's Alex? Yeah. Jeff, I have them. Okay. Yeah. The question was asking what the charges were. It was first degree homicide, it was uh, tampering with evidence, um, and attempting to influence a public servant. Sure. Sure. Is Mr. Morphew being held here at the facility now? The question is if Mr. Morphew is in our detention facility. Barry Morphew is in the Chaffee County Detention Facility. And then what are the next steps? When will he make a first appearance, etc.? Or do we not know yet? The question was what is the next step and when is his first appearance? Tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning will be his advisement where any arguments on his bond will be heard. Give an update for the sheriff. Can you give an update on the search for Suzanne Murphy? We've been covering that a bit. Has that changed at all? Is there any new locations that you're looking? Any new evidence that you're going on? You know, it. it um, honestly, it changes every day. If we receive information, we've, we've, uh, as I stated before, we've, uh, we've investigated 1,400 tips. We're always reacting to new information. There's always things we're looking at. We never, uh, we never rule out anything. So it's ongoing. Is, is there anything new that you can share with us? There would be, there's nothing I can share at this time because it's still an open and ongoing investigation, so we're not able to, to share any of that information. We'll right Sheriff, do you expect to make any other arrests in connection with this case? Do we expect to make any more arrests uh, in this case? No, we don't expect that at this time, no. An alleged cause of death. Oh. The question is, is there an alleged cause of death? So at this time, without the body, we wouldn't be able to say that publicly. We do have information that led us to this point today and how we think a certain scenario had occurred. But as we investigate further, that may change. So at this time, I can't comment. All right, we're going to take two more questions. Uh, let's get to, go ahead. Uh, this is for either uh, the sheriff or the district attorney. Has Barry Morphew been, have you been able to interview him since he was arrested and has, been, has he been cooperating with the investigation and have you asked him where the body is? The uh, question was if the suspect Mr. Morphew had answered any of our questions or told us where Suzanne Morphew's body is and after Mr. Morphew was arrested this morning he was taken into custody and he, when asked questions, he said he wanted a lawyer, so all questioning ended. Last question. Go ahead. Has Mr. Murphy retained counsel at this point? Yes, he has retained counsel. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and. Uh, we heard from him in a year. We have a couple more questions. We, he's done one press conference the whole time. And I get that. It's I, been a year. Yeah, and we've got a news release that's coming out, and there, there's going to be more. So thank you so much. Uh, news release will be coming out in just a few minutes. We appreciate your patience and your time for traveling here today. Thank you so much.